Hello and welcome. My name is Lynn and today I am going to be using some of the um, Cat Scrappiness Silver Pearl Powder and I'm going to create my own shimmer mist. So I've got these adorable little uh, mini misters and I have just some distilled water because I wasn't sure how much of this mixture I wanted to um mix up and if you're going to mix something in a large quantity that might sit around a bit you want to use distilled water that way um, you don't have sort of any kind of odor over time and just out of curiosity I, I just wanted to uh, spritz this just to see how it looked uh, without the pearl powder uh, just so that I can for myself see if there is an actual difference. So I've mixed into each of these little um, bottles some of the Fun Stampers Journey uh, liquid color. It's basic, You can basically use any sort of watercolor uh, liquid and I am going to put several little little scoops of the silver um, pearl powder in here and I don't really know how much is is the right amount but look at once you put it in there how um, shimmery that liquid becomes and once I spray it on to be honest when it's wet you really can't tell <laughs> you can't really see much of anything um, it doesn't look different at all but in the tube you can definitely tell the difference between uh, something a mixture that doesn't have any powder in it and one that does and if you are mixing up a lot you want to be certain to definitely give your um, spritzer bottle a really really good shake just so that any any of that powder that tends to kind of sink to the bottom you can see that it's it's already doing that um right you know from putting it in and it will tend to settle if um if you just leave it and so you want to every time before you go to use it uh, actually give it a really good really good uh, shake and so what I'll do is just spritz my background here. So I've chosen a really nice pink and a really nice teal so that um, together they look great. But then once they start to overlap and mix with each other, you can get a, um, a really nice purple as well. And I am spritzing onto watercolor paper just to... Um, just because I wasn't sure how much water I would actually be applying. And this panel, that one happened to be uh, heat embossed with a design. And I decided to just try to spritz onto black too, just to see if I could tell a difference. And initially you can see some of that color, but um, keep in mind, a water-based color is going to be be translucent. So as that dries, that color is going to disappear. But what you'll be left with is um, the pearl, the silver from the pearl powder. So it's just fun to really experiment and and see what you get out of um, the different colors, the different substrates that you want to um, spritz onto, and you can. Sp Batter, as I'm doing here as well. I will say that um, the silver shimmer came through um, seemingly a lot more on the blue. And I don't know if that's just because I mixed more of the powder into my um, my solution of blue here so that's definitely something to to really play with and of course you know doing the um kind of emboss resist technique is really fun too because you get some of that um stamped image that comes through and so really really fun you can build up some really quick backgrounds here you can see this panel has dried and all that was left was just the the silver. And the nice thing about these pearl powders is that uh, once you mix them with water, the water actually activates the binding agent that's inside. And so you don't actually need to 
spray it with anything like a hairspray or anything like that to to seal it um just by having mixed it with water that in and of itself is enough to um, activate the binding agent and so i don't want any of this to to go to waste so i'm just going to continue spattering um i've splattered some just teal some just pink and then i just went ahead and mixed the two and now i'm splattering with uh, the lovely purple. So you can see how fun this is. And I'm even going to spritz everything down with some water and then just smush, <laughs> smush some more watercolor cardstock onto this. And maybe this is uh, the beginning of another um, background, but it'll just have a nice, a nice subtle wash of color as a, um, as a backdrop. So of course I can't just leave it at that. I have to do even more spritzing. It's kind of a never ending cycle sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, make a card with one of um, the panels that I created, but I'm going to set the rest of this video to some music because the the card is going to be pretty straightforward. And since I won't be rejoining you at the end, I'll go ahead and say my goodbyes now. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, happy crafting and enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks. Bye.